Hi, I'm Jess and I'm a researcher here at Clinikids. Today we'll be talking about physical activity and motor skills for children with autism. Now this is a really important topic because we know that up to 80% of children with autism experience motor difficulties. Most commonly, motor difficulties limit participation within play activities, the classroom and self-care. We know that children with motor difficulties are often less physically active and spend more time doing sedentary activities. They tend to avoid activities that they experience difficulties with and they have lower enjoyment of physical activity. And as a result, they participate in a smaller range of tasks. So this study looked at whether participation in physical activity and sedentary behaviours affected motor skills of children with and without autism. The researchers in this study recruited 17 children with autism and 17 children without autism. Motor skills and fundamental movement skills, so things like running, hopping, throwing, catching, were measured and 30% of children with autism were identified as either at risk of or as having motor difficulties. Physical activity and sedentary behaviours were also measured for a week using an accelerometer while children were awake. The results showed that moderate to vigorous physical activity and sedentary behaviours may influence motor competence and skill level, regardless of whether or not an individual had a diagnosis of autism. So this really shows that identifying ways to increase enjoyment of and participation in physical activity and to reduce barriers to participation during early childhood is really essential to promote motor skill development and early and lifelong positive relationships with physical activity in children both with and without autism.